Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So, for this review I wanted to um, talk about a game that I started out or played a lot in college, enjoyed quite a bit, and is now available on the mobile platform, and that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, the game itself is actually pretty straightforward. Um, if you're not into um, online or into role-playing games, then it's not too hard to get into if you're a fan of Star Wars it's definitely definitely a game to play so um, depending on where you get it from it is available um, on, on iOS and on Android via Google Play and the Amazon App Store so worth checking out um, no matter what or you can get it um, on most major platforms so uh, once you jump in there's pretty straightforward you have your options so um, you can set your gameplay options. So do you want it to be normal, difficult, um, easy? Do you want your um, non-playable characters, your NPCs, to auto-level up their characters, which I'll get to in a little bit, or um, if you want to do it manually, if you want to um, have them be upgraded on your own. Do you want auto-save enabled or not enabled, auto-run, things like that. Um, you also have the feedback, so what do you want to be notified of while you're playing the game? So I turned off the new tutorial. You can have subtitles if you want. They say that you can, if turning them off makes it more um, cinematic um, and that sort of thing. But that for me, that's more on the big screen. So if you're playing via Steam or if you, if you still have the old um, install CDs and, and you're playing it on a bigger screen, that works a little bit more movie-like. But for me, I keep them on just uh, to be on the safe side. Um, and that's a matter of personal option. Um, you can also have um, auto pause options, so when the game pauses. So if you want to know when there's an enemy around or mines or anything like that, you can have those toggles there. And then if your device supports it, you can um, adjust the um, graphics options. So I turned on grass. You can have frame buffer effects if your device is powerful enough. You can enable or disable shadows. And then sound options, so um, in this case, um, let's say I want to uh, turn it down a little bit, turn off all the ambient noise, um, and go from there. Um, if, if you have games saved, then you can load those as well, so you can save as you go, or also auto-save. For me, I, have, I do also save as I go, because um, the auto-save saves usually between screen changes, so it depends on how often you're going through the level or how much you play. But let's say you have to stop in the middle of a level, then um, saving it um, helps you keep your progress. So with that, we'll jump right into it, and I'll pl play through initial parts of it just so you can see how kind of how the game goes. So hitting new game will take you into your character creation. So you have three classes, uh, Scoundrel, Scout, and Soldier. So soldiers are good in combat, um, the scouts are good uh, more on um, spies and slow, um, scouting and going slow, that sort of thing. And then you have your scoundrel who's also good at uh, stealth and moving around sneakily. And then you can also pick uh, male or female. Um, in the canon of the game, um, your main character, which I will not spoil if you haven't um, seen it, is a male um, dark side user Sith who was a, he was originally a, a Jedi became a Sith and came back to becoming a Jedi so um, the male or female side of thing affects one storyline if I remember right but other than that it doesn't really if uh, basically other than that you're gonna get the same storyline no matter what so for me I'll in this case I'll pick a male soldier uh, double tapping will allow you to select it. Um, you can do a quick character setup, so they'll select all the normal traits for you. Uh, for me, I'll pick the custom just so I can set it up personally. Uh, from here, you can pick the general look and feel of your character. So uh, browsing around, you get a number of different um, choices. So um, going through it, I'll pick one that I like. So I kind of like this one right here, so I'll hit OK. For attributes, you can pick what kind of uh, traits your character starts off with. So in this case, I try to um, balance it out a little bit as evenly as possible. So I start off the game um, equally, and then depending on where I want to go from there, um, I can upgrade as I go depending on the uh, scenario. In this case, all of them, co everything costs. Um, the same amount of points, so one point for each upgrade. 
um, hitting OK will take you to the next um, step here. Your each class actually costs a different amount of points, so um, it depends on where you, what kind of character you want. So I did pick soldier, but you can or I can pick um, different um, traits. So. Um, you will not have enough um, points to pick a little bit of everything. So, in this case, um, maybe I'll turn. You can um, you can pick whatever you want, or you can max out on um, certain areas so that you um, you can um, focus on those early on. So, for example, I want high treat injury just to be on the safe side. So. I can use fewer med packs when I get those. I'll, I picked a little bit of Persuade, so I have that. Um, I don't think I need uh, dem Stealth or anything else for the most part, but I will pick uh, demo some Demolitions, and I guess I don't have enough since Computer uses two points. Um, I'll turn that down, and I'm not going to max out on Demolitions, but I will pick Awareness. So. That seems like a decent enough mix right there. And then from here you get some feats. So you start off with a few different things. So um, these are basically just stock based on your character. So are in my case, um, armor, um, weapons proficiency and things like that. So um, nothing too special. And then you have uh, one remaining point that you can use somewhere else. So if you wanna focus on uh, fighting, so weapons flourish, um, if you want to have a power attack, then you can... Actually, that I can't even pick yet. So, uh, depending on what kind of focus you want. So, if you even want the ability for dueling, um, you can do that. So, in the end, if you want to become if you want to become a master dueler um, eventually, then that works as well. So, actually, maybe in this case, I will start there and add other features as I go. So, hitting um, OK is good there. So... From here, you pick your character name, so whatever you want your character to be named. So, um, uh, this is just a name that I started using. So, um, I'll I'm gonna start using that, and because it's a Star Wars name or Star Wars related name, I will um, use that. So, when you're done with the name, you can hit OK, and then you can also randomize your name if you want to pick something random. So, from here, you'll hit play. And you'll start, you'll do a quick load screen. You get some useful tips that be on the screen. So um, if you need help there, um, you start with a usual Star Wars crawl. So um, you get to hear a little bit more of the backstory here. Um, the bit of the backstory, this this takes place 4,000 years prior to the Battle of Yavin. So before the Galactic Republic, before the Galactic um, Empire. This is in the old time when there's lots and lots of Jedi and Sith roaming around. Um, they're at war with each other and it's actually winding down and it is a conflict between your main character and his apprentice or her apprentice if you picked a female. Um, so as always you start on a main planet so you get the overview cutscene of that. You jump in um, directly to your character. Your ship is under attack so you're woken up uh, with that going on. So when you wake up, you're kind of confused. You don't know what's going on, kind of like how you are with the story. So as your player in the game is learning as fast as you are um, learning um, in general. Um, so you have a quick cutscene of being ambushed. So uh, from here, you actually get to pick um, various choices, and that affects the points you get. So um, this actually affects... Um, the decisions you make so um, if you the basic premise is if you pick light side or positive or good uh, good responses and you get light side points if you pick evil or mean or generally bad choices you get more dark side points so um, in this case I want to go a lot more towards the Sith so I'll start off early on and get those um, points as well fast as I can so you get a little bit of backstory that you're a good warrior and that's about all you know and you're picked for the um on to be up on board the ship at the last minute so you don't know what's going on so i'm um, here i'm still picking the uh i want to be on my own and so this guy's telling me i have to he needs to, we need to work together to get as far as possible so it's kind of pointed just part of the tutorial process 
So um, I'll hit OK and you see that a journal entry was added. So in order to um, um, proceed, the first thing you're going to do is poke around and look for the locker. So in this case, touching a foot locker will open it up. It'll tell you what you're getting in that uh, container. So you hit get items and they'll be added to your inventory and you get some points for completing the mission or that particular journal entry. So from here, um, so now this guy really wants to, you to get out of there so you put on your equipment. Um, you can find out how to equip, equip your items. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, you can you, you generally you'll touch your character and the part of the body, your body you want to equip, you touch it and pick the item. So in this case I'm equipping clothing. I don't have um, much else to go on, so there's no um, armbands, um, um, head equipment, or additional gear. So from here, you have a short sword and a rifle that you can um, equip. So in this case, I'm going to equip the blaster rifle. I ha have no other equipment, so I'll hit close. And um, in this case, this guy Trask has joined my party. so. In order to do that, you touch the character and you'll hit add. Um, you need at least one member in your party. In, in general, once you finish this mission, you can have zero as well. Um, so from here, um, he tells you that he has override codes. So in order to switch to him, you'll touch the... Or you'll actually... Um, you can just touch him and... It'll switch to him, and then you go to whatever you want to do. Ta double tap the door in order to open it, and then um, basically that is that. So, I'll double tapping me will get me back to the my um, will take me to the to my character, and double tapping to any point will make me walk there. So the captain of the ship is telling me that you get off the ship. So, um, you get a now that you have your journal, um, you'll um, be able to access various missions and things like that. Um, controls in the game are pretty easy. In this case, it's basically transitioning from a mouse and keyboard to a touch screen. So in this case, um. Since um, I probably won't be able to unlock the door, I'll have to switch to him again. So um, double tap the, the, your other party member, double tap, the, or in this case, tap the door because it's locked. I'll tap that lock, he'll break the encryption, and we have another cutscene of a quick battle going on here. So we get our, our first taste at using weapons. So in this case, um, I have my blaster in my or blaster equipped, and I also have a grenade. So touching the whichever one I want to use, um, I can use that. Right now, I only have the um, power blast. So um, right, so at the moment, um, it auto selects to that, and double tapping it will do that. And then if you see um, a soldier or some a dead body with or dead things on the ground for you to pick up, you'll be able to pick that up. And in this case, I get two repair kits, so I'll get the items. There's nothing behind me, so um, uh, touching him, um, it tells you that he, he tells you it recommends using a med pack because I already have a med pack, um, or because of my health soldier yet full, I don't need to do that. So now let's say you need to recap whatever your mission is. Um, I can, if you hit the gear option and touch the journal, you can see what the entry is. So in this case, um, he, you need to get to the bridge, so you need to figure out what's going on there. Um, in this case, it is not select, letting me go beyond him, so let's try... So essentially what you're going to um, want to do is and now it's not letting me move around but that's basically the basic premise of the game. So um, oh the, actually sorry I 
I said earlier to double tap, but in order to move around, you do actually just need to um, drag your finger around. In this case, um, in order to get to a particular door, that's when tapping on it will allow you to get to the door and open it. Um, in this case, I'm going to try using a grenade of the game pause, as we saw in the settings, that um, it auto pauses when an enemy is fighting, so I'm using a grenade to kill my enemies. Um, in this case, um, um, essentially all I'm doing is shooting, so, um, it, and then hitting the arrow underneath will allow you to pick different, um, attack options as well. There's, it remains on this guy, so I'm gonna double tap him, see what he has. Uh, he has a grenade, so I'm gonna pick him up, and it does say, specifically say frag grenade, there are different, um, grenade types available, sonic grenade and diesel grenade, things like that, so, um, it is useful to um, get as much inventory as possible, regardless of if you're going to use it now or not. Um, if memory serves, there's a um, 99 item limit, so um, granted you're probably not going to get um, that far into it, but uh, um, or that high as far as inventory goes, but if there's a particular type of weapon that you like, then you can pick that and see, and in this case there's a combat suit and a couple of additional um, swords. So in this case, if I'll take a look at the combat suit, see what kind of additional protection it provides. So there's additional de defense bonus and defense bonus, so I'll pick that. Um, if I want it, now I can also go with the sword. So in this case, I'm not proficient with um, two swords, but I can pick it. Um, if I want to cl close quarters combat, um, so in that this case, um, I had now have two swords, and then the same thing works with the blasters. If you want to have two blasters, then um, you can have two blasters equipped as well. If you decide to go that route, and if that's something you prefer to do as well. So that's actually the bulk of the game, um, or the starting of the game, and then you level up from there. Um, I haven't actually leveled up yet, but once you do, there's a screen for that. Uh, after this cutscene, I'll actually show you what that looks like. Um, so you see another quick battle going on here. It's very cinematic, and depending on your graphics, will look different from there. So I'll do a quick save, and then when you go into settings, um, when you click, you also have a tab for inventory so you can see what new items you're getting and touching the items will mark them as um, used. So in this case, these are all items. These are uh, new items. You can see what's related to the quest, what you can equip, things like that. Touching on the person head thing with the question mark shows you your orientation and your various stats. So you kind of see that I'm still in the middle. I haven't gained any dark side or light side points yet, but they will tell you when you do gain that. Um, you can see what your other various skills and features are, so you can upgrade, or you can see what you, where you're at there. And then also on this screen here, on your uh, character screen, you'll be able to level up here, so you'll see an up arrow when it's time to um, level up. And then your um, other party members, when if you have auto um, upgrade selected, you will not, you'll generally won't see it, it'll automatically happen, but if it's off, you can do a manual in the same thing. The same way with your character, you can upgrade your other uh, secondary characters as well. And then when you upgrade, the benefit there is that you also get a health boost to full health. So let's say you're in the middle of battle and you, or let's say you have an upgrade and you don't really need to upgrade yet, but you're in the middle of battle and see that you can, and you're running low on health, then simply upgrade and you can um, set that as well. Um, the other thing you use is that you also get a map, so here you can see various points of interest, so um, the, that's where the skate pod is, these are your quarters where you started, and you're trying to get to the bridge all the way up here, and then you also have an arrow there showing you where you are, so you have a general idea of what's going on. So let me switch back to my character, um, there's some remains, so I'm going to get rid of, get rid of these um, soldiers as well. Let me, I'll um, use a power shot to get, get rid of them. Let me toss a grenade in there just to um, help myself out. And too far out to kill them, but power shot there. And then as you um, increase your abilities, um, 
you'll be also get better at certain features so um you might also want to be able might also want to focus your weapons and inventory and what you buy based on um what what is um uh available as well so um if you the i general idea is to pick a means of or pick a character trait um, that you like something you want to go with and stick to it switching back and forth unless you want like a mix of um, different traits and things like that um, then that works as well it's a little bit harder to um, do and maintain but the game does rely on or in this case it does rely more on picking one side or the other when you get it in Knights of the Old Republic 2 which I don't think is um, available yet for mobile but in that case being in the middle is a little bit easier but in this case pick one side or the other and you're good to go and if you want a particular weapon style as well um, it helps or it sort of counts going forward as well when you switch between a lightsaber and a blaster or swords so that's really all there is for that so if you have any questions comments um, concerns want to know more about the game you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com um, or you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.